I didn't choose to become a farmer. It, it happened. There's another ex-Bombay wala who lives in these areas and he's a 60-something year old farmer now. And he simply said, are you going to be an activist or are you a farmer and you should choose because they're two very distinct. So that, that turning point, I guess, focused me into work versus talking. The feeling comes from the fact that guys who had not at all participated with the nurturing of the fruit, the nurturing of the trees, the nurturing of the land came in and just plucked fruit purely for the sale. Um, the most ridiculous conception about farming is that there's a shortage of food in the world. I mean, as a globus, we grow enough food to feed the entire planet. The problem is we don't know, A, what food is, and then B, we, we can't get the food to the people. But for me, the question is, what does it mean that the land is yours? I mean, we don't live here, we don't work here, we live in the city, so what, what does this mean that it's ours? And I guess those were questions I had as a kid. Um, so one of the things that I started to realize that what it means to own land means sweating on the land. It means you know, having, having hands and feet that, that have the mud of it. Feeling the thirst when the land feels thirsty. It's less weird in the US than it is here. But yeah, I, I do get the question of, uh, are you content because I left a corporate job and you know, I'm well paying and living in America, which so many people look up to. But yeah, I'm super content. I wouldn't have chosen otherwise. Stay true to yourself and be super mindful of all of your actions. Hi, I'm Gayatri, and this is Me in Action. Celebrate your Me in Action moments with Mia. DM us your story or tag a Mia hero for us to feature. Share, comment, and repost with hashtag Me in Action.